Hi, my name is Shwe Yusuf. I'm with the VMware SASE team. I'm assuming you're already familiar with Secure Access Service Edge, commonly known as SASE. If not, then check out a recent blog I wrote. I'll have the link in the description below. It gives you more detail into the architectural framework of what makes up a full-fledged SASE solution and the different methods of delivering SASE. To sum up that article, there are multiple SASE vendors and they can be categorized as providing their customers either a single vendor SASE solution or a two vendor SASE solution. And like most everything, there are pros and cons for each method that you should consider. Let's start with the benefits of the single vendor SASE solution. Because they are provided by a single vendor, they're usually very well integrated, making the overall solution simple and easy to manage. With a lot of the tedious work taken care of through the vendor by automation. A major benefit of SASE is that you're utilizing cloud and with services usually located in the same resource locations, with that, you're not only getting close proximity to the end users, but also fast processing as traffic is processed through a single pass architecture. Consumers of single vendor SASE solutions usually find it easier to support the product when dealing with two integrated technology types. Getting help from a single point of contact is easier and results in much faster resolution times. And overall, it's a lower total cost of ownership with reduced operational costs to manage the solution. However, there are some drawbacks and some drawbacks for a single vendor SASE solution include limited choice and flexibility where single vendors producing both networking and security usually find it difficult to keep up with the latest for each respective component and often fall behind in providing enhancements to better the overall product. And if the solution isn't quite working out, vendor lock makes it difficult for consumers of SASE to switch vendors or specific components. Single vendor SASE solutions usually lack best of breed options in either networking or security because they are very different and complex domains. Vendors often can claim best of breed in one or the other. Usually they fall back to their pedigree or what product they initially started before SASE evolved into the form that it is now. So now let's do that same exercise for our two vendor SASE solutions. Two vendor SASE solutions tremendously benefit customers that are looking to diversify their product. There is opportunity here to choose the best of breed solutions that fit their needs. You get greater flexibility where you can start with one vendor for a particular SD-WAN or security service, then swap it out for another if you find that it's not meeting your needs. Although I will say that typically it's more disruptive to displace networking solutions like SD-WAN products than it is to displace SSE solutions. Reliability is increased since the components of SASE are completely completely independent of one another, and maintenance of one does not usually significantly impact the other. Now to the drawbacks. So for two vendor SASE solution, there is an increase in complexity where the onus of the proper configuration and proper communication between the components falls upon the IT admins instead of the vendor. There are varying levels of interoperability with no two vendors doing the same thing exactly the same way. And it's often difficult to get two vendors to work together to quickly address problems. Two vendor solutions would require two different management portals. However, this works well when the networking and security teams are already siloed. They could result in higher latency as traffic has to traverse multiple hops to process either routing or security decisions. And lastly, there is a higher total cost of ownership, purchasing different components from different vendors and staffing accordingly to manage and maintain each component. 
I'm sure as you're viewing this video, you have more to add. So help others by commenting below if I missed any pros or cons of each type of solution and share your experience if you have deployed either type of solution. Hopefully this video gives you some things to think about if you're new to SASE and are looking for a way to modernize your network. Thank you for watching.